If you're considering listing your Toronto home for sale in the coming weeks, then this is a video that you won't want to miss. I'm the dedicated listing specialist for our team. I've been selling real estate for 15 years. And if you want to know what I'm telling my clients to set them up for success, to make sure that they can have a successful home sale, then keep on watching. Before we get started, I'm Stephanie Noss with the Homeplicity Realty Group, and I'm passionate about helping our clients build and develop wealth through real estate. If you're interested in tips on buying a home, selling a home, or investing in real estate, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you have any comments or feedback, please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. So let's talk about the market. We're definitely seeing a shift since the government's increased a lot of the interest rates and it's nothing to panic about, but we do have to make some adjustments in how we're moving forward and helping our clients have successful listing and sales of their homes. If you've already had your home on the market and weren't successful selling it, then please go ahead and watch our other video on what to do if your home didn't sell. I'm gonna link it up here, that's why I'm pointing. And we'll also have the link in the description down below. So that's another video that you might wanna watch. So I guess the first thing to mention is that multiple offers are over. I've seen so many properties in the last weeks and months not successfully sell. And when we're talking about a market that's shifting, losing a week out of your sale date, especially if you have another property that you've purchased, can be detrimental and stressful, as well as can end up costing you some money. So I think there are certain instances where I still would list our clients' homes in multiple offers, but it's a strategy that we're moving forward with very cautiously and also making sure that our clients know all the cons and potential pitfalls of this strategy at this time. So multiple offers, probably a thing of the past. Every buyer is like, yay, but it was great for sellers while it lasted. I think the second thing that we need to address is that your home is gonna take longer to sell. The days of putting your home in the market and selling it in a couple hours or having the multiple offer strategy we previously discussed and selling it in seven days is probably gonna be a thing of the past. I'm still seeing pretty reasonable days on market. So that's from the, the time that the property is listed for sale until it actually sells. We're probably looking between 14 and 20 days for condos and homes in the immediate downtown area, like kind of central downtown. Prices have gone down between five and 10%, depending on property type and depending on location. A condo that was selling for 850,000 could potentially be selling for in the high 780s right now. So there definitely has been an adjustment as well as for the home sector. That's just something that you wanna be aware of. From an investment standpoint, if you're selling your investment, I'm happy to go over that. If you have any questions, you can feel free to give me a call and we can have an analysis on a case by case basis. But if you're also buying in the same market, the market that you buy in and the market that you sell in, it, it evens itself out. In fact, if you're trading up to a larger home, even if you're selling your starter home or your condo for a little bit less, the higher price point of the other home that you would be purchasing, especially if it's in the same kind of geographic area, you're probably gonna find that the price point, like if prices are off by 5% on $2 million versus on 850, obviously you can see that you would actually benefit I and mean, it sort of evens itself out to your, your benefit if you're purchasing another property. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. It's not all doom and gloom. The other thing to note is that we're gonna have less showings and it's gonna be spread over a longer time period. If you've sold a property recently in multiple offers or in the past few years, then you know that you could have had upwards of 60 to 100 showings, even potentially through your home in condensed into one week. We're not gonna see that typically moving forward. And I usually have a pretty good indicator if we have hit the pricing accurately if we're targeting between three and five showings a week. So if your property is listed and we're getting three to five showings a week, that's a pretty solid indicator that as of today, we are priced in the appropriate range. And then obviously we need to be monitoring other listings that are coming on the market and other properties that are selling just to see if any adjustments need to be made. 
but I would suggest that if we're hitting between three and five showings a week, then we're probably in the ballpark range of where we should hope and expect to be getting some offers. And then on average, we're seeing that our buyers are looking at between probably between 15 and 20 homes before they're making an offer. I'm always tracking the volume of showings that we're getting on our listings. So if we hit that 18 to 20 mark for showings and we haven't received an offer, we are also getting feedback from the agents and their buyers as they come through, but that's a pretty good indicator that we're priced too high. That brings us into our next point, which is that Agents don't actually know, like I'll admit it, I'm excellent at pricing up properties. That's one of my skills, but right now it's really hard for me to give an exact pinpoint number on what anyone's home will sell for. So it's more of an art instead of a science, if that makes sense. It's really an educated guess until we get the property on the market. And that comes in the feedback of the amount of showings and interest that the property is generating, as well as if we're actually getting offers because the best feedback is an offer. <laughs> then you know someone's interested and at least we can see where they're gonna be coming in terms of pricing. I guess the next thing is that when we're in a shifting market, which we are right now, properties are still gonna sell. And the numbers that I had highlighted earlier, that five to 10% difference in price is basically that big leap of growth we had between the beginning of January and March. We're still sitting in a pretty good market and the best looking and the best priced properties are still going to sell 14 to 20 days. That's actually not that long on market. We will start to see that number increase if the market continues down the path that it's been going. And we do usually see some seasonal slowdown in our real estate market this time of year, I would say coming into June, probably into Labor Day. We have some seasonal slowdown paired with some buyer fatigue and layer the interest rate hikes on top of that. And we have a recipe for a market that's gonna be slowing down. If you want your property to sell quickly, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've done the decluttering, you've done the painting, you've fixed up any repairs. Likely you wanna do some light staging, be that paring down and removing furniture or having uh, your agent bring in some stage items, accessories, furniture that's more to scale. Those are the kind of things that are gonna be really important to make sure that your property stands out because in a market that's shifting a little bit, what you'll find is that sometimes someone will sell for a little bit less than the last one. And then that's kind of the same as before. It was every property sold for a little higher. We're kind of moving in the opposite direction right now. And who knows how long that will continue. Experts say that we have some more softening moving down the pipeline. And I have to say that I do agree just based on what we've been experiencing with our own buyers and our own listing inventory. You definitely want to make sure that you get ahead of that when we're talking about a five to 10% price decrease over a two month period since they started the rate hikes. Well, that's almost 1% a month in some neighborhoods and some property segments. So every week that we don't hit the price right and we come out a little bit too high means that we're chasing the market down and we're probably gonna end up selling for less. You, know, you definitely wanna make sure that you're in alignment with your agent on what's happening with the market. If you'd like some information on what your property would sell for or how to prep and prepare your property for sale, if that's something that you're looking to do in the next little bit, I'd welcome the opportunity to have a conversation with you. You can either text, call, or fill out the home evaluation form in the link in the description bar below. Until next time, thank you so much, have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our channel. Bye for now.